Hi, I'm Marcus Hutzel, and if you're like me and have one or multiple DSLR or mirrorless cameras, or if you work around them, be it professionally or just as a hobbyist, then I wanted to show you my little audio survival toolkit that I carry in my bag pretty much at all times, whether or not I'm gonna be working with my cameras or not, because I also work in professional live and recorded event production, live events and video shoots in hotels and concert halls, wedding venues, all these types of things. And I'm always finding that this little toolkit comes in handy all the time, so I wanted to show you what's in it. So obviously all the camera companies have their own backpacks and little bags and little organizers and toolkits and things, and a lot of those are great, but I don't really have any of those style. I have a lot of these little Maxpedition organizers. I've got different sizes. This is Maxpedition's micro EDC pocket organizer, and although it might fit in a larger pocket, I generally don't keep it in the pocket. So let me show you what I carry around in my audio survival kit. As you can see, it's got a lot of elastic bands. It's got some pockets back here. I've got it decked out with a lot of cables and accessories. Now I will note that the only modification that I made to this is I added an elastic piece of Velcro right here. I just sewed on a piece of elastic right there to the tag. And then I sewed on some Velcro to the elastic and I sewed on some Velcro to the guy right there just so I can do that and hold these little containers in there. So that doesn't come stock, but it's helped me out a bunch. So what is in this thing? Well, to be honest, some very simple cables. First of all, we have a 1 8 inch to 1 8 inch standard extension cable that goes to something like, hang on, something like a Movo VXR10 or Rode Video Micro, any sort of these small little mics that go on top of a camera, but it's really just a standard eighth inch cable that's coiled so it will work for a number of different uses. There's that. Now, the next item, I have multiple of these in this bag. These are simply 1 8 inch extension cables. I've got them labeled with different colors. I have two of these short ones in here. These work great on my Sony a7 III, which is the camera filming up above. When I have it all on a tripod and a, an HDMI and a power and a headphone cable coming out of it, I actually put extension cables on the camera itself so that if I need to take the camera and pick it up and move it, I can just disconnect all of these shorter cables and leave the longer cables there. And then the only thing on my camera are these really short extensions. So I think these things are great. I have two of them. I usually use the blue one for output from the device and the red one as input into the device, but they can be used either way. This may look like a standard eighth inch cable here, but this is actually an attenuator cable. It takes a line level signal on one end and reduces it 35 dB down to a mic level signal for the other end. So if you need to run something like say from a professional mixer over to something like a DSLR or mirrorless camera, and the output from one end is just way too hot for the preamps on the other end, this cable will reduce it 35 dB down to the level it needs to be. Great little cable. This cable is either a stereo splitter cable, we'll take a 1 8 inch stereo output and split it into left and right, or you can use it the opposite way and take two signals and get them into a DSLR or mirrorless camera as channels one and two. So you can have two different microphones going into the two separate left and right channels of your camera and get two isolated audio signals. I actually got this simple idea from Caleb over at DSLR Video Shooter to take two different microphones and get them into a DSLR or mirrorless camera so that it separates out the audio. You can take microphone one and put it into one side, microphone two, take it to the other side, and when it gets into your camera, you'll have two isolated audio signals, one on the left, one on the right, and you can split them up in post and have two isolated audio tracks. Next, we have just a standard 1 8 inch cable about three to four feet long. Great for if you need to take your microphone and get it a little further away from your actual camera. Always have a longer cable to do that. Now, these two are the same cable. They are the exact same thing as the shorter extension cables. These are just three foot, one eighth inch, or 3.5 millimeter extension cables. Male on one end, female on the other, so that I can take and just extend out any other eighth inch cable. So say I was using something, again, I'll use my Movo VXR10 as an example here. Let's say this is the only cable I brought with me and it's just not quite long enough. I wanna take this and get it away from the camera. Well, I can use this extension cable 
and just extend it out. Now, instead of this little short cable, I've got another three feet to go. So those are great. These are also great for a lot of things you wouldn't necessarily think of. So let's say you're a graphics operator for a live show and you've got five or six laptops and you need to hear the audio from one or multiple laptops, but they're just a little far away. If you had a single pair of headphones, you could either try to really carefully reach up and put the headphones into the output of each computer directly, or get yourself a bunch of these extension cables, put the male end into the computer, then you can have multiples of these. Then you can run it from this computer and that computer, but you can have both of the female ends of those cables right near you right here on the desk. I usually tape them to the edge of the table where I'm working and then I've got both of my computers that may be a foot or two feet that way and another computer over there, but I've got both their audio outputs right here by me. So I don't have to keep reaching up and plugging in the headphones to those laptops, potentially disconnecting other cables from the laptop. So eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter extension cables. That's two, here's two more. I have four eighth inch slash 3.5 millimeter extension cables in my toolkit at all times. All right, so what else do we have? That takes care of everything in these elastic bands. Back here, we have a 1 8 inch to female XLR cable. Now, this is very specifically wired. This is not a one-to-one -one cable. The pins on this side do not line up exactly with the pins on this side. What this cable does is it allows me to take an output from a professional mixing console that has a balanced output from the console and get it into something like a DSLR or mirrorless camera or anything else that is not a balanced input. So what this does, if you're familiar and in pro audio, on the XLR side from a balanced output, pin one is ground, pin two is the hot signal, and pin three is the cold signal. However, on DSLR slash mirrorless cameras, the eighth inch input is not balanced. It's expecting a left signal and a right signal. So this cable will take pin two, which is your main electrical signal or your audio signal coming from the console, and it will duplicate that main hot signal coming down pin two and distribute it to both pins two and three on this side, and it drops out that polarity flipped balance signal coming down pin three, and pin three doesn't even exist over here. So pin one goes to ground, pin two goes to tip, and pin two goes to sleeve. So you get a proper signal from a professional audio mixer into your DSLR or mirrorless camera or anything else that's a 1 8 inch non-balanced input. I keep this around at all times. Oh, and just in case you need to go the other direction with this cable and take the output of something and go to an input, I keep an XLR barrel in the other end so I can just turn this cable around and now I've got basically the reverse of that. And this is where the wiring of this cable is very important because basically it takes the left and right signals from the eighth inch end, sums it to mono on pin two of the XLR end. This way you can send it into a balanced XLR input on a professional mixer if you use that XLR turnaround to make the female end male. So XLR barrel. What else, what else? That's all in the rear right there. So now we have two of these little organizers I got at the container store and let's go through what's in them. Now I keep these in here because otherwise it's just, these little small bits are gonna get lost. Let's open this up. Now, I've got in here a 1 8 inch slash 3.5 millimeter barrel. These are great for turning something like a male to male 1 8 inch cable into an extension cable. So for instance, if I ran out of all of these extension cables, let's say I was using all of them, I could take any other cable, like my other 1 8 inch male to male cable, put the coupler on the end, now I have an extension cable. Or once again, I can put this in the output of a laptop, keep the female end near me, and now I've got a way to plug my headphones in directly in front of me instead of reaching up to the device and fiddling around trying to find the headphone jack. So, coupler. Then we've got two 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch headphone adapters because these always get lost and people take them inadvertently, but they get lost. This one is the type that screws on and I like the screw on type because they fit well on my Sony headphones. And I have one that is a non-screw type so you can just use it where needed and you don't have to worry about threading it onto anything. And one more container to go. What do we have in here? Well, first of all, we have a windscreen that can go on most lavalier microphones in case someone's caught in the wind without a windscreen. We've got the always needed, never wanted lightning to 1 8 inch adapter for 
Apple iPhones. So yeah, thanks Apple, but that's in there. And the last two items are TRRS to TRS adapters, and I've got one of both flavors. So I've got this one, which is a TRRS, if you can read my handwriting there, to TRS adapter. So this one, as you can see, is tip ring ring sleeve, and on the inside there, it's just tip ring sleeve. So if you needed to get something like a Movovo VXR10 or any other similar style microphone into a smartphone, well, if it's an Apple phone, you'd have to use the adapter, but most smartphones are expecting a TRRS cable to go into them, and if you're only feeding in a TRS feed, this adapter will get you properly into most smartphones. And of course, we have the opposite of that, just in case you encounter any equipment that has a TRS output, but needs to go to a TRRS input, output, whatever, I have the adapter if needed. And last but not least, I usually keep at least one, if not a couple, alcohol pads to clean little things like lavalier microphones, cables, anything that other people are gonna touch. Always good to have these around. Let's put it back together real quick. So that's it. Lots of little audio toys and a very small kit that you can put in your bag and kind of not know it's there until you need it. I hope this was helpful. These little Maxpedition pocket organizers have been great. I've got about five or six, maybe 10 of them around in different bags and in my car. And they've really been very handy and not very expensive. So anyway, I hope this information was helpful. Good luck, have fun. <laughs>